So maybe uh, this is comparable, God forbid, uh, to uh, the endeavors by um, Stephanie Wilson Wolkoff and uh, Lysandra Orstrom uh, exposing uh, conduct by Ivanka Trump. Um, I have an acquaintance who back in uh, 2016 related the following to me about how the Trumps handled their acquisition of the famous for Miami Doral Hotel, once made famous by Jackie Gleason and you know, having a, a, a well-known golf tournament there. Um, what he told me is that um, when the Trumps bought that hotel, maybe around 2012, he, he was uh, working there. He, he wasn't exactly a union rep, but uh, he was an informal, he was equivalent of a union rep. He, he's bilingual and they had uh, in the neighborhood of 200 staff, let's say that there was possibly 500 staff at the hotel, 200 of which did not speak English. So they came to him and said uh, that um, they'd heard Mr. Trump might not like uh, Hispanics. Would he please ask if Mr. Trump, if he would uh, allow them to continue working, even though they don't speak English. And there was a, a, get, a, a, a meet and greet meeting the first time that Donald Trump, you know, spoke to this hotel staff. And so he asked this question and uh, Donald Trump uh, said, well, uh, something to the effect of when in Miami doings, do as the Miamians do, it's up to us, uh, the Trumps, to learn Spanish. They don't need to worry about not speaking English, which of course was a gracious thing to say. However, it didn't turn out to be true because maybe a month and a half later, Ivanka Trump. Now here goes. Uh, now this, I'm not giving you a firsthand account, but I have very good reason to believe uh, that this is a true account, nonetheless, of uh, the fellow who uh, was living through it. Uh, a month and a half after that meeting, uh, what happens at the now Trump Doral Hotel? Uh, Ivanka Trump shows up with the police who then escort these uh, some 200, uh, uh, 200, some 200 employees who do not speak English out of the uh, hotel. Police escort, right? I mean, isn't a normal thing to do, you know, if, if you're gonna lay somebody off, you, you tell them you're laid off. You don't, you don't call the police. Do you follow what I'm saying? And according to this fellow, uh, again, I have good reason to believe that he told me the truth. Uh, he, the um, That's what Ivanka Trump did. So now she thinks that um, this is her great place to move. Uh, but I, um, I, I mean, I should probably digress for a second. Uh, due to President Trump, when he came into office, the county which had never done this before, to my knowledge, began uh, turning over, uh, he, he accused us of being a, uh, an immigrant refuge or whatever, sanctuary county or something. So the county agreed to do um, horrendous things to immigrants. And I don't really wanna go into the details because it's very upsetting, uh, but just really just try to basically uh, uh, manufacture reasons to arrest and deport immigrants that have no no morality whatsoever. I mean, this is a, a, a terror tactic. Uh, I could tell you the details, but then I might find it too upsetting. So, um, um, so there there's a lot of destruction done. M Miami, if you don't know this, Miami-Dade County's uh, population is, uh, let's just say, it's a little over 2.7 million of which uh, 70 to 75 percent is Hispanic. 49 percent of that population of over 2.7 million people were not born in the United States. All right, so we are full of immigrants here. And if I were to estimate, I would say um, over 200,000 have been hurt in some way or another, meaningfully hurt 
by the Trump policies. 200,000 people, uh, the, the victims of Trump discrimination, uh, we know how he's treated immigrants, uh, the, the worst of which, of course, is separation of families. Uh, so we'll be watching. You know, you look at Jared Kushner, supposedly Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump want to make Miami their home. Of course, that's all right. Let them do it. That's great. Or not. Um, Jared Kushner, what's wrong with him? His father went to federal prison, I guess, over real estate crimes. I, I don't follow it that closely. And from what you read in the paper, Jared Kushner uh, has been self-dealing with these uh, endeavors in the White House where he's actually profiting off of these uh, efforts, you know, to uh, help minorities, insider trading almost. He, he comes up with this project or something and then he implements it and, and, and cashes in on it. So we'll be watching him too. You got 200,000 immigrants here have been hurt by, by these people. We'll be watching to see if they uh, commit crimes here.